Kira is out here drilling holes, me and her both, and this thing here is a beast. Now, I didn't want to do a review on these scans, this thing, until I've used the hell out of it. Now, she just went in and cleaned up, and now look at me. I was using a sledgehammer. She is breaking out concrete after drilling a bunch of it. So, I want to show you this here. This is a just tough, bad kit. I mean, amazing kit that you're going to get with. It's a separate thing, but you'll get with something like this. It's all SDS. And chipper, I've got another couple of tools out there she's been using. And we're going to go out there right quick. And she's going to show you this thing running a... That's still hot, Kira. It's still quite warm. Uh, running a 3 8 bit, how easy this thing drills through literally eight inches of concrete. We're, we're going to have to go through eight inches of concrete. So, all right, let's get out here. All right, now this scans is a brushless, turn it this way, Kira. It's a brushless 20 volt. And you get that four amp hour battery and everything. Look below the video, I'm gonna put a link to this thing because it has proven its worth. Now she just broke out all of this. And what we have is we have a very poor previous owner um, job of concrete. And it's just actually an overpour that they use the wasted concrete from this carport in here, all right? Now, what we're doing is we're actually drilling this out. We've built an additional roof here. So we're having it terraced to come into here and then use block. But this is just, see how it's all tapered? Now you're looking at five inches thick right there that had to be broke off with the jackhammer. Now, here's this. This is what we've been using, extreme power. So hold on, get it like that so you guys see it better. Extreme power. long as you keep oil in them this thing will run this thing's old this thing will run forever a couple of hundred bucks comes with a lot of the bits and stuff you need so she's going to drill and show you on one battery charge you can drill about 20 of these holes eight inches deep with a three eighths inch bit so she's going to go ahead and make going. sure and keep it straight i struggle with that she struggles with her angle, making sure it's straight. So she had one of them got stuck because she went in the angle right there. Yeah. And that's when I took over and come out here and start drilling this one. And now she's going to get back on it. All right. So, as you can see, this thing here, it's even got a little light on it. This girl here has been running one of these for a long time. What do you yes. think? Uh, we've had it for quite a few years. This one's newer. But that one's a newer one. The first yes. one we got was the scans. It was mostly red. And mm -hmm. then I decided to buy the impact and the grinder and the other tools. Yeah, because we love their products so much. Because um, these guys are the makers. This is the makers of Makita. At about half the price. Yep. And that thing here is probably about a half a pound heavier than the Makita for some reason. I don't know why. But it's heavier. Could be the battery. I don't know. But we have a Makita also. And it's dead. Yeah. Isn't it, isn't it dead, Kira? I used it a lot. Yeah. Didn't Sorry. you? Yeah, you did. So um, now we have the scans. Um, same item, basically. A lot tougher. It can drill. It can hammer drill. It can hammer only, let's see here, um, where it does a back and forth, okay, like that. So if you're wanting to use the chisel tip that you've seen in there, you put it on this one and it'll do this, like that. And if you put it on this one right here, it's just straight hammer for, for using just the flat chisel on it. And I don't know where she's put my other tools, but 
Yeah, ev somewhere. Everything, everything now is proven. This battery has gone through about 40 charge cycles, absolute bulletproof. It has never shut down from overheating. Um, the battery hasn't, but the tool has something electronic in it that will turn it off, and you let it cool down about three minutes. So it hasn't hit that point yet. And, yep. we, and we've drilled, what's that? There's a couple of them covered up by the dust. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You're knocking them over. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 of them, and here, let me see the battery here. Hold the battery up so I can see the charge. Right here, honey. Okay. Still at two bars. Wow. So, what do you think about your scans? I love my scans. Y'all be good. I just wanted to give this thing a long-term review. Yes. And we have a lot of rock out here, and that's why I was wondering where the hell she done with the bit that goes with it. But we have a lot of rock out here, and here's another one of the bits. Here is just look. Here we go. And she uses this. You can get all of these bits cheap. I mean, like thirty bucks you get, and these are these are tough, man. Look at that. Look at the tip still. It's got some nicks in it, but all the rock that she has had to break out for us to do this work out here. All that rock in the ground. Especially when it's next to a wall. Yeah, very hard to do. And even like for doing flash. So let me show you this right quick. We're doing this in the carport. It's a mess. Oh, guys, look at this beast. Yeah. That one. Okay, so. And those. We're souping them up. And so you have flash that's left over after a concrete pour. So we're redoing this out here and getting it poured outward. The roof is extended another 12 feet out. So we're going to be breaking this off and that's what this thing will do. So here, come here, Carol, here, here, give me that. You hold the camera and I'm gonna show them how absolutely gorgeous. And it's just pulled back, comes out easy. Don't worry about them bits, they're tougher than nails. Give it a little spin, lock it in. And then you get down here, oh, put it on hammer. That was dumb, wasn't it? Breaking out tile. You name it. Knocking the flash off of the I'm trying to go too deep. So they can knock off a pretty good amount. See that? Unbelievable for the price. You'd pay four hundred dollars for a Milwaukee could do that. This thing here, I don't know, is like a hundred a quarter, hundred and a half. It was worth it. Well worth it. All right, so we've got a ton of hours on this beast, and we ain't even close to being done with her. All right, guys. What do you gotta say, Kara? I gotta say that I absolutely love this tool, and y'all be good. Absolutely. Look at all the junk in my place. Oh, that wind turbine's going up soon. <sighs> Coming, guys.